so here we have been told that if sine inverse of if sine inverse 1 minus x minus 2 sine inverse x that is equal to pi by 2 then we have to find the value of x so now here uh, suppose if we take if we put sine inverse x that is equal to theta suppose say so then theta will be equal to sine x sorry sine theta will be equal to x so then then we can write x is equal to sine theta so now therefore the left hand side of the equation therefore the equation becomes the equation becomes sine inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 theta that is equal to pi by 2. So therefore from here I can write sine inverse of 1 minus x that is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 theta. So therefore 1 minus x that can be written as sine of, sine of pi by 2 plus 2 theta. It means that here we are applying sine in on both the equations. On applying sine on both sides since why since we know that sine of sine inverse y if i do sine of sine inverse y that is equal to y so now sine pi by 2 plus theta sine pi by 2 plus y suppose that is equal to sine y so, so sorry that is equal to cos y so this is equal to cos 2 theta so now therefore 1 minus x that is coming equal to cos 2 theta so now cos 2 theta that is equal to we can write 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So therefore this we can write 1 minus x that is equal to 1 minus 2 into sine theta whole square. Sine square theta means sine theta whole square. So sine theta is x. So if we put that then we will get 1 minus x that is equal to 1 minus 2 x square. So therefore if we take all these right all the uh, expression on expressions on the right hand side to the left hand side then we will get 2x square minus 1 plus 1 minus x that is equal to 0 so therefore minus 1 plus 1 will cancel then from these two we can take x as common x into 2x minus 1 that is equal to 0 so therefore x is equal to 0 or we can say 2x minus 1 that is equal to 0 so therefore x is equal to 1 by 2 so x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 by 2 but we need to check if these two solutions are satisfying the given equation or not. So now, therefore, first case is for, for x equal to 0. For x equal to 0, we can say that the left-hand side will be sine inverse of 1 minus 0 minus 2 sine inverse 0. So that will be equal to sine inverse 1 minus 2, 2 into sine inverse 0 is 0. So this is sine inverse 1 is pi by 2. So this is coming pi by 2 which is equal to the right hand side. So x equal to 0 satisfies the equation. The It satisfies the given equation. But for x equal to 1 by 2 which we got, for that the left hand side will come sine inverse of 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 2 sine inverse of 1 by 2. So this will be sine inverse of 1 by 2 minus sin, 2 sine inverse of 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So this is coming minus of 2 sine, in, sorry. This will come minus of sine inverse 1 by 2. This will come minus of sine inverse 1 by 2. So this will come minus of sine inverse 1 by 2 means it is pi by 6. Since sine 30 degrees half, so it will be minus pi by 6 which is not equal to pi by 2 therefore here left hand side is not equal to the right hand side so hence x equal to 1 by 2 does not satisfy does not satisfy the given equation so therefore x equal to 0 only satisfies the given equation so therefore option c is the correct answer so hope you have understood the concept thank you